Dan Trudeau here. I'm the VP and Executive Recruiter at PRA USA. And today I want to talk to you about an interview question that causes a lot of stress in people, which is, what's your greatest weakness? We've been helping people interview and get new jobs for 30 years now, and across the board, this is one of those areas where people have a hard time coming up with a good answer. Here's the deal. It's, however, much more straightforward than a lot of people think it is. And not only that, if you do this correctly, you can turn your weakness into a positive in the interview. Let me explain how. And the first rule here is, this is a rule for any answers to interview questions, is be real, be authentic. Because if you're not, they're going to figure it out and it's just going to make you look worse. And I'm going to give you the most famous example of an inauthentic way to answer this question. So Dan, what would you consider to be your greatest weakness? You know, I think my greatest weakness is sometimes I just work too hard. Don't be that guy. Okay? People can smell that sort of response a mile away, and even less obvious ones. If if you're being inauthentic, people are going to pick up on it. And even if they don't pick up it now, they're going to figure it out later down the line, and it's going to just cast a shadow over everything you've said or done. So the next thing to talk about is... Instead of discussing your weakness as some sort of like personality flaw or this chronic issue you have, you're going to talk about it in reference to inexperience. You're going to talk about how you're improving it, and that's how you're going to turn it into a positive. Let me give you an example. So Dan, what would you say is your greatest weakness? Well, you know, I found out when I had a previous position that organization and organization of groups wasn't something that I was naturally talented. It's not one of those things I was born with. Uh, and it came up in a project we worked on where for the first time I was given team leadership responsibilities. And, you know, I, I kind of fumbled with it at first, but I got with my mentor. We talked about different methodologies to work on and I, I got much better at it. In fact, that project turned out very successful and it's something I've been continuously working on since then. Okay, so there you go. You, instead of talking about a personality flaw, which is, I'm an unorganized person, you instead frame it in a story. Uh, I'm, by nature, was, you know, not as organized, organized as I needed to be. However, this project came up that asked me to be that way. I did the steps to improve myself and continuing to improve myself. And what do you know? I wound up doing it okay. The project turned out well. So here you are, you've talked about a real weakness of yours, but instead of just being a chronic personality issue, you talked about it as I didn't have experience in that area. I improved upon it. I'm still improving upon it. So you've communicated to them, one, a real weakness, but you've also communicated to them that you're a person who's constantly improving. And not only are you constantly improving, you've been successful in that improvement. And that sort of thing is a big positive because no one walks into a job with all the skills in pocket, knowing everything they need to do. So they're always looking for people who can improve themselves and have a track record of improving themselves. So there you go. Now, maybe you're early in your career, you don't have a lot of work experiences. Use something from your personal life or your college education, you know, your experience with projects there, whatever you can. But the main thing is there. You talk about how a situation came up that you are not naturally strong at, you improved upon it, you had a good result, and you've been improving upon it ever since. That's the way to frame it, and that's how you're going to turn that question that gets everyone really nervous into something that actually helps you. There's something else you can do to improve your career, which is like, share, subscribe to the PRA USA YouTube channel. We're going to be sharing everything from career advice to job hunting tips to giving you our feedback on the big things happening in the technology market today. We're going to use our 30 years of experience to help you have the career that you deserve.